Welcome to Automate with RPA. I am Kajal and in this channel we will dive deep into the world of RPA. If you are curious about automating tasks, improving efficiency and learning how to use RPA platforms then you are in the right place. Today we are going to kick off by downloading the latest version of UiPath Studio and installing it on your system. I will walk you through the entire process step by step so don't worry if you have never done this before. By the end of this video you will be ready to use UiPath Studio and start automating. Without further ado, let's get started. Open any browser of your choice and then type uipath.com and then press enter. Once you press enter, you will be redirected towards the home page of UiPath. You have UiPath Agentic Automation. In the right hand side, you have option called Try UiPath Free. So since we will be downloading the community edition, I'll click on try UiPath free. Once I click on that, in the left hand side, we have the 60 day trial which is for enterprise users. You can activate your 60 day trial for enterprise version since we are going to install community version. In the right hand side, you see the option create UiPath user account. So you can create the new account or if you already have an account you can go ahead and you can log in with those account details i don't have any account here we have two options that is continue with google or continue with microsoft i'll be clicking on continue with google since i'm already logged into the google account it shows my account details here i'll be clicking on that account once I click on that account, it says sign in to uipath.com. It asks me for some of the conditions that I need to um, accept. I'll click on continue. Once I click continue, it redirected me towards cloud.uipath.com. And here it is asking me for display name and region. Since I already have my Google name that is Ajil, so um, it has all automatically taken that name and the country I'm going to select it as Canada and here it asked me for an option to check the box send me information about your pro products events and promotions I'll check on this box and click on next once I click next do you see I got an error it says name must include both first and last name separated by a space the display name since I had given only has casual so it has given me an error so I will have to give the first name plus last name separated by a space so I'll be typing my last name that is Kondal once I have typed my full name now I'll click on next and once I click on next now do you see I don't have any error anymore so here it says create your cloud organization so I'll give the cloud organization name as my bot. I'll type here as my underscore bot. And then I'll click on create organization. You can give any organization name of your choice. Now it says please wait while we set up your cloud organization. So do you see here I'm redirected towards cloud.uipath.com page this is the, nothing but the uipath automation cloud in the right hand side if you see i have two options start in studio web and second option that i have here is download studio desktop since i'm going to download the uipath studio in my desktop so i'll be clicking on the option download studio desktop once i clicked on download the file started downloading i'll create more videos related to cloud.uipath.com automation cloud in future videos now that the file is downloaded i'll double click on that file and install it in the system So here do you see I have got an option welcome to UiPath setup quick or custom quick for community users. So since I'm going to 
um, I'm going to download the community edition. I'll select quick and I'll accept the terms and condition. I'll click on install. Here it says, please wait while the product installs. So this process is going to take some time because all the files that are there, like uh, all the dependencies, all the packages, everything is going to get installed and it is going to take some time, uh, approximately like five to seven minutes, depends on the speed of the system and many more. Here, do you see that I have got an info if you want to continue installing the UiPath extension for Chrome, please close all your Chrome process, then click OK. If you want to do web automation using Chrome browser, then you can install it. And also you can install this in later stage as well. But here I'll be closing all the browsers um, that is a Chrome browser and will install it now. This is basically going to install the Chrome extension for doing the web automations in future. Please wait for a while. So now do you see completed the UiPath setup? So my UiPath Studio is uh, completed. The setup is completed. Once I clicked on launch UiPath Studio, it says sign in to get started. So this is the service URL that you can see here, right? Cloud.uipath.co. I'll click on next. Do you see here? I got a pop-up UiPath browser automation 24.10 added to Microsoft Edge. So I'll just turn on this extension. It is, once I clicked on that, now I'll continue with Google. Here I am not logged in with my Google account so I will choose use another account and I will log in to my account. So I will type here rpa ai developer at the rate gmail.com and I will click on next. Now I will give the password of the account and then I will click on next. Once I clicked on next, now it says this site is trying to open UI path. I will click on open. So do you see a UI path connect to tenant? I got this message and now you are signed into the UI path. The UI path studio got open. Do you see here it says welcome to studio if you want to watch the tutorial or if you want to go to UiPath Academy you can go and you can watch the tutorials. You have successfully installed UiPath studio in your system. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you want more videos on RPA tips and tricks make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future content. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions related to RPA. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.